Okay, untested, uh, Verizon flip phone, what is it? Uh, Coursera. I don't know how you pronounce that, but okay, so no power here. Oh, and again, we have an unknown connector. All right, but again, so let's see if we can open the battery compartment. Oh, I love those phones, you know? Yeah, it looks like original battery. You can just pop up the, the back cover. Take the battery out. Actually, this one is stuck a little bit. Yep. And just replace it. Uh, very nice. Okay, so the model number is... Uh, I'm not sure what the phone number is. It's probably K127. I put it like that. We'll find out later if that's the case. But again, we can uh, charge it externally and see if that turns the phone up. So I'm not sure about this one. Um, unknown. Yeah, I think the way I wrote it is no power plug. All right. All right, welcome back. So I did some more investigation and testing of this device. So that's uh, Coursera K127, also known as Marble. And here's what I found. So this is another CDMA device, so there are no SIM cards in there. Uh, so nothing to unlock, so you can see it's Virgin Mobile, and that's what's going to stay. Uh, also another unfortunate thing, which I think I already mentioned before, the charging cable is non-standard. So it's not one of the USB variants, uh, and I don't have this charging cable. So uh, what I did with that was our usual pathway by now. So I extracted the, uh, the battery, took it out, uh, charged it externally, plugged it in, turned it on, and everything actually worked. Uh, I mean, to the extent what I could test. Uh, again, I couldn't test the mobile connection because no Virgin Mobile here. Uh, and uh, that was that. Uh, unfortunately, well, unfortunately or not, I cannot show you that that works unlike some other devices because let's see look at that the battery is no longer there uh, and the reason it's no longer there is because that's actually the battery that i used to manufacture battery for uh, the garmin nuvia 760 project that uh, you may have seen or should have seen uh, at least it was uh, published uh, some time ago, where the, the original battery completely died and I needed another battery and I didn't want to buy a new one because that would be prohibitively expensive for that device. So I figured I actually take the battery from this one because the form factor was uh, quite similar. Uh, I didn't have high hopes for this device in terms of its usefulness between this being a CDMA phone. Uh, and have a non-standard charging port. Yeah, I didn't think that's going to really do anything for me. Uh, but at the same time, the phone was actually pretty much new. I don't think it was ever used. So as you may see, I don't know if you can see it here, there's still plastic film here on, on the screen and on the inner screen as well. Uh, and it looks all very clean. Uh, I don't think it was ever used. So the battery inside, again, uh, 
likely have never been used, uh, whatever it's good or bad thing. Anyway, so I took it out, uh, reconnected it to Nuvi, to Garmin Nuvi, and that's where it's at. Uh, so that leaves at this device as actually something which is working, I did test that. But now it's not super useful, to say the least, because there's no battery. So if uh, somebody has another phone which is broken, but still has battery and a charging cable, there they can use it or use it for parts or something. But apart from that, yeah, that's, um, that's it for this device. But as I said, if the CDMA phone would be useful in some way, shape and form, which I'm not sure it, that's the case, uh, then it would have worked completely with no additional uh, intervention required. Assuming you have a charging cable. So that's that. And let's move to the other devices. And I'll see you in the next episodes. See you then.